So this is our stitch splat coaster. So what we're trying to do is stitch is going to go down this and then come off and splash into the water at the end. Let's see if it works. So right now we have both of these towers at the same height and we're going to see if gravity can take them all the way up. It didn't work. But that's because since they're both the same height, it's not getting enough, enough power to go up. Because there's so much friction down at the bottom that it takes away all the power to get back up the hip. So now, Holly, what can we do to actually give it a little more speed to make it over that? Ooh, okay. What are you adding, Holly? So, if we add this extra hump on, let's see if that can give Stitch enough speed to beat the friction and get into the pool. Oh, it really got closer. Close, so what are we going to do? Quite. So let's try adding one more on. Can you make it? Splat! Splat! The one thing that this kind of roller coaster can't do is make a loop. So we're going to try to make a loop. To do that, we can't really use Legos to make the loop. So we're going to use this special set that works with Legos, but it's not Lego. It's called Roller Coaster Factory. So these are the main parts in the kit. There is a little plate that can attach to Lego bricks, and then a little part with a ball that snaps right into this piece. And then these little parts on the end will snap into this tube. So this is the Mega Camel Loop, and this is the Stormtrooper. So he tries to come from the top, go around the loop, and get Donald out of the dragon's mouth. But before he gets there, he jumps off of the roller coaster so he does not get eaten by the dragon. Because of the flexibility of the tube, it was we were able to make a complete loop. So it goes all the way around to the camels. So in order to get enough speed to make this loop, Summer, what did we have to do to get enough speed? We had to go way up there. We had to shoot way up for the skies up there. And let's let's actually test it out and see how high it needs to go in order to make that loop. So why don't you do some testing here? So at first we had it at only this height, but it just went to here. Okay. That wasn't high enough. And then we tried it at this. So that Almost. Wasn't high enough. Then we went all the way up. And that Yes! Yay, we saved Donald Duck. Yay. So in addition to the anti-gravity camels, we had to stabilize this coaster with some trusses. So Holly, can you explain how many trusses do we have in this whole roller coaster? Five. Okay, can you sh point them out to us, which ones you built? So there's one big one here, okay. supporting and that... the post, because it has to go up so high. Mm -hmm. And then there's two little ones here, keeping Inside. this on here. And then there's another big one here, supporting the loop. And then one supporting the end. Supporting the jump here. So Summer and Holly, thank you so much for coming by and building these cool roller coasters with me. It was really fun to look at all the engineering behind these new models, so thank you. And thank you all for watching. We hope you learned something new. Remember to play well, and we'll see you next time. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs>
bloopers, bloop, 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 bloopers, do, 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 splat, bloop. Not That's that. the dot that we have to look at, <laughs> not that. Okay. I'm in it, right? Yes. Okay. Warning, warning, Lego piece missing. Oh, no. Yeah, remember, look in there, don't look in there. Where are we looking? There. Where are we looking? Where are we looking, Holly? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> To get those roller coaster, roller co roller coaster, to get those roller coaster cars going fast enough. We lost both camels. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try that one more time. Sing bird mom. Sing. Hey, bird mom. Summer, any bird mom. Morning, Holly. I'm gonna do this in the mirror, bird mom. Me too. Bird mom, bird mom, bird mom.